Good morning folks, this is Mike, here with the next installment of Truck Talk. So let's get started. Well, it's the day after election. Uh, the results are all in. I uh, hope you all voted. You saw the, what I posted yesterday, that was pretty much you know, what I did. The sticker's still up there in the compartment. And I just want to say one thing. Uh, well, I'd like to say a whole bunch of things, but... I'll keep it brief this morning. Uh, the election's over, and I remember eight years ago when I was actually on the losing side, and those who preached tolerance told us all that we needed to uh, accept the results and work with it, and we attempted to spend eight years uh, watching vacations on taxpayer money and golf outings when tragedy was happening in the country and the president should have been somewhere else. Um, we saw policies Im imposed upon us through executive order rather than congressional action. Uh, we saw a stalemate in Congress. We saw Republicans not doing what they had promised they would do. In other words, to put it into the words of our president-elect, those eight years, for some of us, were a disaster. But did we run around yelling obscenities? Yeah, some of us did. I didn't. That's not the way it works. And unfortunately, there's too many good people that will not run for political office because of what happens and how nasty the campaigns get and how deep they dig into them. So, what I'm asking the other side this time is to please heed your own advice and I've asked this before I'll ask it again why are those who preach the most tolerance or preach tolerance the most seem to be the most intolerant of an opposing viewpoint that's not their own so folks rather than preachers or posting obscenities and and especially to the winning side, rather than gloating over the victory, what we need to do is bear down, get the work done. We need to come back to the uh, constitutional principles, principles of common sense, principles of self-reliance, and principles of responsibility for one's own actions. That doesn't mean that we abandon those less fortunate, but it means that we need to go more to a hand up rather than a hand out. Uh, the Forest Service tells us not to feed the wildlife because the wildlife become dependent on it. Unfortunately, we have a whole society that has become dependent on us feeding them as well. And it's not working. It's not working. So. Let's give this new guy a chance. I mean, how long has it been that we've been saying, and I'm one of them, been saying, let's put a businessman in charge and run this country more like a business than like a place where you can just print money or raise taxes and think you're going to get revenue in. Uh, so that's my plea for, the, for this installment of Truck Talk. It's time to again, bear down, get to work, and let's get back to some of the um, successful historic traditions that this country has enjoyed for so many years. And let's take it from there. And that's it for today, November 9th, 1919, November 9th, 2016. Have a great day, and let's get to work.